Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a life path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this message. So today I'm here with a channel messages reading from your person for all my cancer placements out there. So if you have cancer as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, this message might apply to you. Your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation, in communication, at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do get started, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for all my cancer placements out there, so it might not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it doesn't, please don't take it personally. So let's get started with some messages from your person. I don't blame you, I've shown my true colors. You embody love. You're exactly what I want. So, so far with these first three cards, I kind of feel like there's some sort of guilt that your person might be feeling and these energies can be reversed but from your person I feel like they haven't really shown you the best and they haven't treated you the best um I feel like they've taken advantage of your kindness of your love and they've done something to hurt you and of course like when someone hurts you like there's no justification towards that but in their head they know that you're a great person you embody love and like you're not you don't you don't deserve that um but then we have you're exactly what i want so i feel like your person might be taking what you have how you are like your energy and they're just kind of abusing your love and like they notice what all they can get from you in terms of the feeling that you make them feel but they've shown their true colors. We have, I don't blame blame you. I've shown my true colors. I feel like in a way they disrespected you by doing something that you just didn't deserve. And this could be for some of you, maybe you could have been having like, trying to have a calm conversation about something that you didn't see eye to eye with. Um, and then it was how they reacted was very uncalled for. Um, also, they could have lied about something that I feel like maybe you had a feeling and you addressed that to them and then like you caught them in a lie and then once you, once you like confronted them about it because they knew they were guilty and you were right, they, they still like I'm feeling that you guys got into like a big argument, but it was, it was all from them, like them just spewing like hateful stuff, hateful words, and then in return you're like, okay, like this obviously isn't how to have a healthy form of communication, and the fact that you feel the need to get out of character while I'm just trying to talk something out, ex understand you better that's really showing me a different side of you so i am getting the energy that they've been abusing what you give them as far as feelings and emotions i have a lot going on absence makes the heart fonder don't shut me out so yeah i feel like your person is missing you right now and I feel like because of them showing you how they are and how they can get over something that might be solved through communicating, it really hurt you. And like right now you're you're in your shell because you're not trying to be hurt. You hate that. Um, and we also have absence makes the heart fonder with that. I feel like because you limited your communication or maybe shut off communication completely, they're really thinking about you and kind of they're feeling like, okay, I really missed out on this. and But at the same time, I'm also feeling that this isn't the first time. Maybe this has happened more than once and each time it gets 
more escalated and it just hurts you even more um so i'm kind of getting that your person is missing you but at the same time if they've been trying to get back into your life or still communicate to you i don't think that they've really learned their lesson or maybe it's been a situation where you've taken them back multiple times and they know that they still have access to you in that way so for the most part it's like i just feel an energy of someone taking from someone like energetically um and feeling like you cancer have so much love in you that what they do doesn't affect you but it really does and right now you could be feeling very drained i feel like for some of you you're in this emotional tough spot because whatever happened really hurt you and to work yourself out of it you know it can be done but depending on the history you have with this person it's like a feeling of sorrow like that feeling where your heart really hurts because you're missing someone but you know it's bad for you or you know that they're bad for you Every time I want to reach out, it seems easier not to. We are both doing good. I don't want to interfere. One day we will be so amazing. We add to each other in the best ways. Growth is a part of anything su successful, and I'm ready to start the process with you. You don't compare to them. I know it's confusing, but it's complicated. I'm used to our history. It's easier for me. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and start with this card. We have you don't compare to them. I know it's confusing but complicated. I'm used to our history. It's easier for me. For some of you, I did mention in the beginning, it might be that they've been lying to you about something and you had a feeling that it was going on. And then when you confronted them about it, they just threw it in your face and kind of acted like it wasn't their fault when they clearly were lying to you. So you could be dealing with someone who is seeing other people i have a lot going on that i feel like th that card can be more towards they're not focused on making you a priority so that's why they're not acting and like talking to you in the way that they should um and right now you two i feel like you have shut them out and you have limited communication we have every time i want to reach out it seems easier not to we are both doing good i don't want to interfere i feel like this is a person you might have some history with too um so for you cancer every time you think about letting them back in because you do miss them um it's like okay maybe it's best for me not to because of how i'm feeling right now and you can't stand feeling how you're feeling um, and I feel like you know that time will make it better, but it's more like how much time because right now I'm going through a lot of hurt and it's kind of unbearable. So part of you is like, should I reach back out because that'll be a temporary fix to how I'm feeling right now. And then lastly, we have one day we will be so amazing. We add to each other in the best ways. Growth is a part of anything successful um, and I'm ready to start the process with you. I feel like this is your person's energy. This could be something that they say to you to try to make things better, but I definitely feel like them knowing you is a huge addition benefit to their life. Um, they realize that you have so much going on for yourself, the person you are, you embody love, and I feel like they look at that and they see what you can do for them. Um, and. They might have some feelings for you, true feelings, but it's not real love because they're not showing you that and they, they don't communicate in the ways needed for that. So I feel like that card refers to what your person sees out of you that can, that can benefit you. I feel like your person is more of like a person who takes a lot of your good energy to get them throughout the day. Um, and of course, this message message isn't for everyone. You're, not everyone's person is like this, but for some of my cancers out there, that's just the energy that I'm getting. So yeah, I do hope you were all able to relate and connect with this message. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.